Hey guys, what's going on? It's GP here, and welcome back to our next Universal Yums unboxing. So if you guys remember, um, we actually got a re Hey guys, it's GP here. We actually got a resubscription, so we're getting three more boxes. This is the first one we got last month. So the excitement is really huge, and for once, we got Tesla back again. What up? It, it, it took us a lot of, uh... It took us a lot of duct tape and whatnot, but we finally got him back here. Duct tape? What do you mean? What did you do to me? <laughs> I don't remember! <laughs> so regardless, we got him back. Eventually, we have one that we've been waiting on since February. Now, hopefully, we can get both him and Masked in, because that's kind of one we've been looking forward to. Regardless, this is our first new box, and by the look of it, we can already tell where it's going to be. So we're going to be getting back into this, um, we're going to be opening this up, we're pretty certain we know where this is from. And if you guys want to see more Yum Box videos in the future, then you guys should know what to do. I'm not going to point fingers, I'm not going to edge anyone. And, yeah. There's totally not another box in the closet that he's skipping. I already told him, that's what I've been waiting for, for everyone. Uh, Show us the label so we can see it. it. Well, I kind of cut his forehead now in one's face, but, uh, Wait, you're pretty wizard, certain. Harry. Wait, show the top I'm part of the label. Look. A wizard. A land of many Harrys. Pretty certain we know where this is gonna be from then, like, hands down. No you're, guessing here. You're gonna go to Even if we didn't know. Ooh, that was actually pretty sick to open. Platform nine and three quarters. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already to this channel, please do so. Although, the current number might- yeah, I'll just show it. So, of course, welcome to the United Kingdom, the UK, Great Britain, whatever you want to call it. Woo woo! So... Ooh. I don't think we need a book to understand most of these. Oh, these are going to be interesting, actually. Sneak peek. Dane's shortbread rounds. Oh, Lord. Is that, that our first one? The first one on top scares me. What's this one? The last time he and I one. saw something, we thought... Honey and mustard flavor. He thought it was honey I mustard. Like okay, wait, wait, no. We start here. So we're going to start with Grandma Wild's Toffee Flapjack. That one sounds like... Oat bar with toffee. That sounds really good. Next, bizarre. discover some delicious double meanings. So an oat bar with toffee. Like, I'm... What even... Wow. It's like a... Nom. It's almost like a brownie or something. Hey. Hey, like a blondie? Knife, right? um, this isn't the one I'm going to be cutting with. I'm going to be getting another butter knife. Oh. Which I will be doing so right now. Oh boy. How am I going to do this? This thing is tough. Did you start it? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, it's like a mix between a brownie <laughs> and toffee. It's a blondie. Get in my belly! <laughs> this is a weird okay. angle for me to... I'm not used to filming from this angle. So, best thing's best. I'll break off a bit of mine here. That didn't really help much. Sorry, camera person. Oh, I get crumbles. I, I tried, I tried, but this is going to be interesting. So again, oat bar with top. I got chicken feed. <laughs> I can give you bigger chunks if you want. No, we'll go with this one. So nice. Oh. Thank you. So nice. All right, so oat bar with toffee, enough stalling. Wow, really soft. Hmm. It's definitely toffee. I, I failed to eat. I had one job. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> Uh, oh, I've tasted this somewhere. Oh, the deliciousness of I was gonna go full Gordon Ramsay on them, but I've <laughs> messed like up. it started out like toffee, but then it goes into like I wouldn't say oatmeal, but you know what I'm tra talking about here. Well, it says Actually, oat. oat. Finally, some good food. Like a oatmeal bar or something? I don't know. It's very creamy. True. I can see that. So first one done. Down the line. Let's go on to the next one, why don't we? But I'm not done. Hmm. Um, if I can find it. Why does that have Mario playing an accordion on the front? Wait. It, this is legitimately Mario playing an accordion. Practically. <laughs> I missed it. The camera only has so, uh, so fast of a frame rate. <laughs> um, looks like the next one is literally going to be straight up from the yum bag. Nuh-uh. Wow. The yum bags always last. Let's just skip Not that. this time. It's got a way different, uh... Oh. 
They did the book differently, so they've changed it from the last time we've done it. It's changed drastically. I guess change and be good. He doesn't like me messing with his hat. This is literally my personality. You take that away, you are nothing. And you love messing with his hat. Bye, chick. So yeah, literally the next one right up, fizzy lemon hard candies. Oh. Uh, is there enough for us? Okay. Oh, well, we got lots of different colors in there. For us. So we got orange, like an orange sherbet and a green. So fizzy lemon hard candies. So we can only have the lemon one? Well, this is the first <laughs> one. Did you already eat it? Ugh. Yeah, the wrapper and everything. Didn't we learn that was a bad idea from Gravity Falls? Did we? Okay. I don't Every chocolate wrapper. This one's gonna take a minute. Lemon. Ooh. Is it? It's like a Zox. I just bit it. <laughs> hmm. If I, if I was editing this out, go ahead and put a crunch, crunch, crunch right on it because she's over there doing it too. Crunch. I haven't crunched it yet. Crunch. Well, she will. Anyway. Mine is slowly seeping out. <laughs> oh, no. It is. So basically a lemon zots. Mm -hmm. Our next one is actually the orange one. Or a lots of fizz. So fizzy Same orange thing. and champagne chews. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's excited. Trying to rush through. Hopefully this video won't be too long. Never know. Hopefully I'll actually have an ending. Because you guys know usually my videos tend to get cut off with these. Why but we'll see what happens. Off? Because I can't edit them together. It doesn't have enough space for some reason. I don't know why. Have you tried editing them on your laptop? Moving on. So we Just have ignores me? How rude. That was the acknowledgement where he says, no, I have not. So we have fizzy orange and champagne cheese. I'm still on lemon. And what now? Champagne. Fizzy orange and champagne cheese. Champagne. Wow. All right. Mm. It's made from two parts champagne and one part orange juice. Okay, I'm ready. Interesting. I don't know that I'm old oh, enough. Here for we this. go. Nobody caught that. Oh my goodness. So this is pretty good though. Hmm. Very mm. interesting. Champagne's alcoholic, right? Um, I think in certain things, there's like Is it gone? champagne and beer. But it's like the However, flavor is not alcoholic. Just like when you're jellies. using it, when you're using it and cooking and flavoring, most of the times it evaporates out and you just get the flavor. Fair. Again, just like the jelly beans. They have margarita flavored jelly beans, but they're not alcoholic. <laughs> margarita. I, I like that. I get one from Mexico. Hmm. Mexico or Spain. Next one. This is the one we've been seeing. For a long time now, Johnny, oh my, Johnny's Pickled Onion Rings. It's a Mia, Mario, play the huh. onion. My voice is shot. Wait, Pickled Onion Potato Rings? Can I sit this one out? What? Uh, there shall be no sitting out of the yum yum Unfortunately. chain of command. No. We've had some funny stuff. These things are, these things are tiny. What? You know, they've got Mario on the front. Talk about clickbait. But they've got Mario on the front, but they look more like Sonic Rings. <laughs> True. Yeah, they what do, don't they? What are you trying to say, UK? So, pickled like, onion potato rings. It's like a mini. Oh, I don't know how to feel about this mm. one. Oh. Oh my. Mm. Holy cow. Oh my god. Mm. I need a drink. <laughs> oh. That mm. is definitely a pickle oh. flavor. It's like the dill pickle lay chips. Wow. It's like it's not bad. It's just way really strong. It's like combining right from the it's yeah. It's like someone took a funyun and the dill pickled Lay's chips and combined it into this. And they're, they soaked it in vinegar. They're you true. <laughs> uniquely different. All the pickles are already soaked. In Starts vinegar, out strong, but it's not bad. Did you just have another one? I did. So did Alex. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a tea kettle on. They kind of remind me of a salt and vinegar chip aftertaste too. It did because that, that I said that vinegar because mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. it's really vinegary. It's like someone yeah. combined the dill pickle and salt and vinegar Lay's chips and then a funyun. Did they not list something out of the yum yum bag? Uh, Bro, that's it's not, not here yet. Yeah. Oh wow, they really went on order. Right there. 
So next one is actually the first one that I read off, if I can find it. Dean's um, Shortbread Browns. There it is. Yeah, shortbread cookies, basically. Oh. oh. I have to wash that down. Don't want this mixing with sweet. No cold. Okay. You had one job. We are experiencing much technical difficulties. Yes, we are. Thou shall walk to get thy water. <laughs> Slide okay, to the left. Wait, that's illegal. Are you Slide to the right. I'm moving the camera. camera. Everybody clap your hands. It's <laughs> contagious. Okay, oh, My job was, here is done. Well, I was right when saying that it was super soft looking. My word. That broke immediately and I didn't even... This thing does not want to be taken out. Technical difficulties. Spare me. There's only two in this. I just have like some matches. Well, you guys are the main people. Go ahead and eat them. Oof. Oh. Split half of mine though. Aw. So this is that. really just shortbread cookie. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Pretty simple. Pretty plain. Not bad, but simple. It's like one of those things you dip in your tea. Mm. Coffee. I mean, this is UK after all. They probably do do that. Do you have crumpets, anyone? Up in the Galar region. Okay. Would you like oh, a what? spot of tea? Pokemon Sword and Shield is based off the Galar region. It's a oh, uh, English region. Oh boy. But, um, next one. Oh. Oh, tea, please. oh my god, literally the title. Where is this thing? I can never... They always look different. Okay, that is it. It's literally called... That's... Oh, there it is. Literally the title. Yummy Banana Toffee. <gasps> we like the banana! From Brazil, we just... We were going through because he hadn't had any of the boxes prior. You guys should know that. I was with Mast. Not him. He was not present. So he covered those. It's a solid bar. Corona sucks. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely. Oh, is Whoa. it softish? It's toppy. Oh, that is tough. Mm. How do I? Just Mario, come on. Scissors. <laughs> Clean scissors. Give Give us a moment, folks. Hey guys, it's GP here. <laughs> ah, help me! <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so we got it. So, um, this thing is tough. We, like, mangle it a bit. <laughs> you can tell right here. Took a bit of a twist. So, um, we'll give this one to you. Okay. And, um, I'll, I'll... Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, toffee. If you have... Just give yourself a double serving of toffee. I'm trying to break it off. If you have, oh my god. If you have uh, feelings. Oh no. oh no. Oh my. If you have feelings, I do not recommend. I just oh. bit on the side of my filly. <laughs> and now, oh, now my teeth are smenched together. Oh, this, I guess I can one. really talk like a British person now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> or tea, would you? <laughs> Definitely one of those things that'll get stuck in your mouth. And two lumps of sugar. But it sticks with like you, doesn't it? Pretty good. <laughs> but, um, yes. So really good. We're all gonna sit here. Not much else to say. It tastes like banana and toffee, and it sticks your teeth together where you can. Really the banana flavor is good. It's just really hard. I mean, you've seen us try to break this thing off. It's. Mm -hmm. You should have held durable. it under. You should have held it under a uh, hair dryer. Hmm. It's like laffy taffy. Oh gosh, Almost. don't remind me. At least it's, it, it's, it's, but it's easier to open. Yeah. You don't have to put it in the fridge or freezer to wait for it to not stick to the wrapper. <laughs> this is true. I've never done that, so I've always suffered. <laughs> so next one, this is the one I kept mistaking. I'm not, Blooded, I'm not even finished with this yet, Alec. All right. Well, you know it takes a minute to open things anyway. Fair. Oh. Our next one. As I was saying, clotted cream fudge. Ooh. Clotted cream flavored fudge. We fudge. like fudge. Fudge? fudge? I Literally, fudge. most of the stuff you don't even have to read not. It pretty much tells you. And it's even got, oh, this reminds me of those certain caramels, because 
I mean, we learned from these boxes, cream fudge is usually a delight. A delight! Whoa! Mm. He just jumped right in! A new record! For real! Looks like caramel, as it usually does. <laughs> so clotted cream. Spoiler fudge. alert, it's good. Oh yeah, that is. I'm so it's behind. It's very though. soft and you know creamy. This thing looks softer than the, that thing looks. Camera person has to do everything COVID incorrect. I'd open it with my mouth. <laughs> I can open a stick of gum with my teeth. Totally unrelated. That, that is really good. good. That's nice and soft. Yeah, it's so it is, different mm -hmm. than the toffee. I mean, it's, it's still got that air fudge, but it's a lot softer than. It's the like that. Uh, Milk toffee that we got from one of those. Mm -hmm. I definitely Remember. couldn't eat. I, I definitely couldn't eat a lot of these though. They just have that kind of the rich, rich quality to them that you'll get sick if you eat too much. It's called fudge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a peanut butter. So this next one, I was actually looking at this <laughs> one. It's really interesting. I've seen this one a lot. You didn't see that. You good? <laughs> Maybe. All right, let's get on these rapid fire now. Don't know how much time we got, but. Never know, so we gotta get her against the clock. I As I was saying, you. funny that we were having a conversation prior. This is really interesting. I've been looking at this. Lamb and mint potato chips. Oh, you like these weird ones. I'm not gonna like this Welsh one. Welsh potato crisps. Lamb I, and mint. Do I get an out of this one? I totally didn't choke just a second ago. No one gets an out. You said it yourself. Oh, those look. Wow, the one time he chooses to listen to me. Thick. <clears throat> They're thick? Alex, no. Oh, thick the teeth and pass So, the lamb and mint. Look out, it's not I know that's a thing that's popular up there, so. Oops, sorry. Whoa. Whoa! The mint isn't really a mint, it's more like one of those herbs that you try on chips or something. I don't like this, this is bitter. Hmm. It's, it's not bitter, but it's definitely strange. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Got Although my first time trying something lamb related. I definitely have a hint of mint, but it, but you don't taste Like it for me, the mint wasn't really a mint. It was like any other herb that you try well, on this uh, I can definitely something. see it's a mint, but you don't really get it until after you get past the meaty taste, which I assume is lamb. There's a hint of the mint there. <laughs> also, I sh uh, is Welsh English? I believe is it's like... like... What is Welsh? Um... Is it like... Not available to Google right now. I don't really know. All I did not I like that people, one. Neither did I. And that they sound like Irish or Scottish nearly. They, they're very similar to that. What is Welsh? I guess that's definitely a different flavor for different people. Yeah. Depends on what you like. The Welsh are a Celtic nation, Celtic, an ethnic right. group native to Wales. Oh no. This is going to be one of those weird ones. Oh dear. This box, I should've known. Chewy bonbons. Rhubarb and custard chews. Oh dear. Rhubarb and custard. So soon after lamb and mint chips. Well, that's my cue to leave. Bye, guys. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mast, if you're watching this, you're probably gonna be laughing. You're probably laughing your tail off throughout this entire video. Oh, okay. So actually, it, I thought it said mustard, but it said custard. Uh, so. did, did, did. This is more of a dessert. I thing. missed the face. I'm a bad so camera I'll, person today. I was getting the today. wrong interpretation myself. It's more of a dessert thing. Rhubarb and custard, and they're chews. I know, but rhubarb is a distinct flavor, and custard True. is an interesting texture. So um. Take the brightest looking one. I'm not sure how I feel about this. You got the uh, smallest one this time. Okay, so wait. So. It's very different looking. It's tough. He don't wait for nothing. Whoa. Uh, sometimes we do. Meat veggie. Rhubarb's a vegetable, it's saying. You didn't know that? I thought it was a fruit. Only because I always do it in strawberry pie. Hmm. And it goes with a lot of strawberry stuff. I was I thinking custard, not, not like chewy. I mean, it said chew right on the bag. It says chewy right on Yeah, the but bag. you said custard, and that to it's me not, did not... It's not bad, but it's not... I wouldn't eat it as a snack. 
tastes like a giant Skittle. It's sweet. Almost. It's sweet, but it's kind of sour. It's definitely not my cup of tea. I like sweet, but mm. it's just it's not. I don't really have these. What I like. Eat? I kind of like it. Mm. It's not bad. So our next one. Kent Crips Ashmore Cheese and Onion. Cheese and Onion Potato Chips. Did you say like Kent Crips? No, Kent Crisps Ashmore. So cheese and onion potato chips. Hey, hey guys, just rewind that and tell me in the comments that he said Crips. Interesting how <laughs> they're saying, um... <laughs> interesting how they're calling these chips. I thought they were supposed to be fries. Yeah, Typical I'll... UK thing where... Is it fish and chips? Yeah, for them fish and chips are fish and fries. They call fries chips. Yeah, um, how weird. So this chip should be a fry? Pretty much. Is that like there's between a driveway and a parking lot? <laughs> Alex is like, okay. <laughs> yeah, no. So let's see here. We've got three. He's going to pick the crumpled one. Um, you say that like it's a bad thing. All right. Hmm. Okay. Cheese and onion. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. It's almost just like a normal Lay's sour cream and That's onion chip. It really is. Mind. I was about to say that, but I was a little delayed as you say. This is literally no different from just the sour cream and onion lays. I think he's gonna eat another one. Hey, they say you can't yeah. have just one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True. This has definitely been interesting. Mm. If, I'm gonna um, eat, if you're gonna eat another one, I'm gonna get one too. Next one. Oh, we finally get to these, I think. Oh, yeah. Unless there's something else in here that I looked over. Nope. Oh, there, it's only this. And then Bruce Styles. We got an extra! What? This one isn't in the book. We got an extra. Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah, that one scares me. The mustard stuff scares me. Mac and honey and mustard. So. Let's do that first Mac then. Mac Scotland, honey and mustard potato chips. Let's do the surprise one because those are hard candy. All right. So honey and mustard potato crisps. It says nothing. Gently cooked to perfection, it says. Mackies of Scotland. Last time we tried something mustard. Um, I know. That was our first video. Oh, right, it, it was so yellow, and we were like, oh, it's going to taste like honey From mustard. The Republic. So. And then we also had the yellow popcorn. You dip it there. Thou must sit. Okay. He is thrown into sitting. You know what? Here you go. So, honey oh, and this mustard. This does not smell good, y'all. Mm. Honey mustard potato mm. crisps. Oh, it's just like the Czech Republic. No! Oh, God. It is. I'm out of the manager of the pepper. No! <laughs> it's a repeat of what happened in the very first video. We should have learned our lesson. Ooh, I, hit, I hit the wall start. Oh, me. Um, we, we had that feeling. By it's, got seeing... it's got a spice to it that burnt my lips. Honey, there's there is no honey. There's it was, no it sweet. Was a spicy mustard. Yes. Not if you guys watch the first video, you guys will know exactly what we're talking about. This is almost exactly the same. Okay, Alex, I'm gonna go ahead and um. Actually, no. Max might want some. He might actually uh, like these. Oh, uh, really? Maybe. I mean, he likes spicy stuff. So on to the last one that we were supposed yeah, to do before I'm that. I'm looking forward to this. Bristow's. Chocolate limes, lime hard candies with chocolate filling. Chocolate filling? What? Is that what you just said? I yeah. Know. This is the last one in the box. Holy cow. It's hard. He just jumped right in. It's hard. I can't go through the chocolate center. What is it? It's not a cookie How roll. How many does it take to get <laughs> a few thousand. The world I may counted. never know. I counted. Well, let me expedite this process for us. Oh. Please don't you break me. I tried to do that and I couldn't. You did not. Oh. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Chef was not a chocolate center. There is. I don't know if you want to see that, but. You don't want to see that. <laughs> that is a not chocolate filling. Just spit right through it. Yep, there's chocolate. It's like, um. It's like those Tootsie Pops that they have. They're like the lollipops, but then they have the chocolate in the middle, or the gum. Yeah, it's a Tootsie Pop. But this is not a pop. Yeah. It's just a Tootsie. I also don't think we're supposed to chew on it. We're gonna have a uh, person from the UK that says, Dang it, you're doing it wrong! 
Probably. You're saying you're not so enjoying people, it properly. So many people are going to be screaming at us. So, yes. The United Kingdom box. Mm. And they have a yum shop in the on the back this time. What's in their yum shop? New in the shop. Crumbly shortbread with crispy toasted rice. Crunchy corn nuts with a spicy adobo kick. You love corn nuts. I don't think I like it spicy though. Best sellers, juicy, zingy, chewy, a tropical taste of Brazil. <laughs> Not the ones we had before. Crispy chocolate dip oat cookies. Um. Oh yeah, we were, yeah, that's the pineapple chews. We already had those. Awesome. Chocolate flavor. And then last call, the hazelnut meringues. Those are both things we've had before. Mm. And then Brian's favorite. Brian is a universal yum's copywriter, which means yes, he wrote these very words. And it's an alpine nut cake. Nice. Hmm. So where's the hint for the next box? Um, that is a good question. Where is it? Um, it says, do you want to know where we're going next at the bottom? But I didn't get to read the rest of it. Also on Instagram or Facebook. So they've definitely changed this up. No hint? It doesn't look like it. They have changed this up a lot. Thank you. Oh, United you Kingdom rejects. These poor snacks didn't quite make in the box. Here we go. So we had Mackey's Aberdeen Angus Crisp, Scottish <gasps> beef potato chips we could have gotten. <laughs> Same company, just something different. Retro corn lemon and lime sherbet? Popcorn with fizzy lemon lime seasoning. I would have preferred that over the mustard ones. And Curly's black currant and licorice. Black currant hard candies with licorice filling. Mm. Definitely some bizarre ones. I can see why some of those were rejects. Very interesting. But yeah, that was the UK. Definitely an interesting one. Uh, what was the best one would you have to say? Because there were a lot of odd ones. Yes. Um. I think this was actually one of my favorites. The chips. Really? They were just. Like, I liked, believe it or not, the dill pickle onion rings. Yeah, ringy things. Onions. They, they came so. out strong, but they. Huh? They were bad. good. It's it's a surprise. I agree. And pickly. I guess. And of course, worked. the cream fudge was obviously one of the winners of this box. It was. Well. I mean, that one that one was great. But I mean, this I... one was weird, but I actually liked it. I might be snacking on a few of these for a while. Oh boy. I Least I... favorite is the lamb and mint chip. And then the oat toffee. That was actually really nice. Well, it was like, nice it, and it, creamy. It tastes like something you have during breakfast more than you'd have. Whose for favorite is the dessert. lamb and mint chip? Not mine. That's, that was my least favorite. Oh yeah, definitely. But actually, I think it. Uh, well, actually, we actually have a least mustard. favorite here. The lamb and the mustard. Oh. This wasn't even in the box. In the book. Yeah, that's gonna be close. I like the lime uh, thing. Oh yeah, the lime and the chocolate good. filling. So thank you all for tuning into this episode of Universal Yums. Um, we should be getting another box sometime this month, if I remember correctly. It should go all the way up to July, and then we'll see what goes on from there. But this has de definitely been a longer one. It's been nice having Tesla with us for once. Um, we're hoping that maybe we can have, um, I'm thinking two videos at max where we have all three of us. We've definitely been saving the one we got from February, which we think might be France. It's not 100%, but it's more of a 99.999% that it might be France. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see whenever we get to it. Thank you for tuning in. Um, he also has a YouTube channel and he streams, so please do make sure to check him out as well. I'll leave the link in the description below, as well as my Discord and my gaming channel that you can check out as well. Warning, my channel may not be for the faint of hearts. Yeah, he's, he's, streamed, he's streamed Outlast, um, which is definitely a scarier game. But thank you guys for tuning in this episode, and we will see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned, my friends. Stay tuned, my friends. Bye! <laughs>